that's a pretty good board you got there. It would be a shame if someone jizzed on Winda. No, <laughs> not my Winda! Plus that phrase is inappropriate, you know? Whew, and Makaba is a machine. Very cool. No! It's in the whole board, baby! Oh shit, it's in the whole board! Fortress Dragon 3K attack into battle phase. Declare. I'm not gonna count that attack. How? <laughs> Why not? You got battle fader? You didn't say it with enough passion! <laughs> so what are we in the show now? <laughs> well, I mean we are a show if you think about it. Good point. I attack your life points directly, Eugene! Ending this duel and beginning this deck profile! No! Not another Cyber Dragon deck! Alright, it is time for Cyber Dragons 2021. I'm going to be showing you the entire deck. I'm going to show you all the combos that this deck can do. And I'm also going to be showing you the flaws in the deck. I'm going to be showing you cards that I used to play that I don't play anymore. I'm going to show you some cards that I thought about playing that I'm not playing. And I'm going to show you exactly why the deck is the way that it is. So buckle up, we're going to be talking about Cyber Dragons for a very long time. Starting with, of course, the core of the deck, pun intended, three Cyber Dragon, three Cyber Dragon Core, and three Cyber Dragon Hertz. Uh, the, these cards all have Cyber Dragon in the name. Perfect for a Cyber Dragon deck, right? <laughs> no, for real, this is like the best card in the deck. Cyber Dragon Core uh, gets you a search for pretty much the whole deck. I mean, really anything. And then I play two Galaxy Soldiers. Sometimes I want a third one, but that's, uh, you know, before I deck build better, I guess. Uh, two is perfect, okay? Um, you don't you don't really need three. Every now and then you'll want three if you draw two, but that's really it. Um, three Cyber Dragon, obviously, because I am playing the machine duplications. Um, three Jizakiru, because you have to be able to out Winda. I like Jizakira way better, not just because of Winda though, but because of the obvious, uh, you know, Chimera Tech combo. You um, kaiju your opponent, then you use any of these Cyber Dragons and go into Fortress Dragon. That's it's great. Like, I mean, it's the same old combo. It never gets old. Uh, three Cyber Dragon Emergency, Cyber Emergency, I should say, and one Repair Plant and one Rev System. And that's it for what I would call the Cyber Dragon cards. Uh, you only need one Repair Plant. Once again, sometimes I want two Repair Plants, but um, only when I want to um, shuffle back a cyber dragon for um, you know a machine dupe uh, target um, and that's and that's about it um, the only time I ever use um, repair plants um, effect to shuffle back into the deck is you know to shuffle back a cyber dragon for a repair plant I'm sorry a machine dupe target and that's it uh, the rest of the time I'm using repair plant to search for galaxy soldier or Jizakiru because you get regular cyber dragon with Hertz or you get uh, you know core back uh, from the graveyard with Hertz um, and then you obviously always search um, um, Hertz or core off of emergency. So I always use repair plant to search Jizakiru or Galaxy Soldier depending on what uh, situation I find myself in. So once again, that is all the uh, Cyber Dragon cards. One rev system is perfect uh, for the two card combo. Uh, Monster Reborn also kind of functions as that, but I'll get to that in a minute. Three, Quick Draw Synchron. Three, Satellite Synchron. The, this card right here, Satellite Synchron, is key to the two card combo in the deck that I've already showed you guys, but I will um, you know, show you guys again. And three, tuning to be able to search these cards. And, and that's, that's another thing that's key for the two card combo, is that all you need is a core and a Satellite Synchron. Sick two card combo, you go mega plus, you go like plus seven or eight, whatever it is. And uh, these cards are obviously at three each and are searchable. You have search cards for your two card combo pieces. It's insane. I freaking love it. We'll call it the no-no combo for now. <laughs> I'll show you guys in a minute though. Um, uh, Quick Draw Synchron though is a level five machine so you can make Nova with it. Uh, you obviously discard uh, any monster with it. Uh, Hertz or Mandrake. Um, Mandrake I get with Light Stage. Um, you can also perform uh, the same combo I've been talking about with, uh, you know, uh, Quick Draw Synchron, Satellite Synchron, and a Mandrake, or, you know, it's three monsters on field. You just need any uh, three monsters, but there's a, uh, you know, two card combo to get it off as well, um, which I've been explaining using uh, Core and just a Satellite Synchron or Emergency and Satellite Synchron, whatever. Uh, but uh, like I was saying, there's the three card combo to be able to get it, and um, Mandrake functions, uh, functions as your level two instead of Core um, for the uh, Marcher combo. 
So I'll get to that and I'll show you guys that combo, um, you know, here in a little bit. And then we have the Karakuri tuners. Um, these, uh, you don't want to draw. They're not the worst to draw, especially uh, because of a quick draw synchron and stuff. Um, they, they do suck to draw. <laughs> like, you don't want to draw them. Uh, they're kind of like your Garnets, but not, they're not as bad as Garnets. Uh, you just want to summon these out of the deck with your Karakuri uh, uh, synchro monsters. Uh, and yeah, that's that's the goal. Just, they're, they're your Garnets. <laughs> you know, if you've never played Brilliant Fusion, you won't know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, these are the cards that you don't want to draw. Um, you want to uh, Synchro Summon or Brilliant Fusion and not draw these. But anyways, uh, one Desk Bot on one, all, that's all you need is one Desk Bot. Uh, you summon this off of uh, Needle Fiber every single time like uh th this is your needle fiber target every now and then you will get uh this there'll be certain hands where you'll go for the satellite synchron but uh yeah nine times out of ten it's a uh, despot i want for the uh two card combo three card combo uh using aurora don which i will explain to you um one one for one uh, because there's a lot of level one targets in the deck all three of these are level ones and your um hertz is level one so there are plenty of targets plus this is another uh, discard outlet for um mandrake and for hertz so um or you know regular the cyber dragon or what have you and then a uh, monster reborn because it's monster reborn <laughs> gets from either player's graveyard uh can be disruptive and of course uh you know it combos with the whole deck um you use this to uh, trigger satellite synchron special summon something from the graveyard triggering satellite synchron similar to uh, rev system or nova uh, between all those you are always um triggering satellite synchron for your combo and that's it so that is the whole main deck um before i get to the extra deck and side deck um, I want to talk about why this has to play machine duplication, all right? And th th that might be obvious to you guys. Oh, it's a Cyber Dragon deck. You play machine duplication, you get your target out, you machine dupe, you get two more Cyber Dragons out. I'm with you. I'm with you. I've been doing the combo for years. No, I'm definitely with you. <laughs> but here's the thing, guys. Um, so what I was doing is I wasn't playing these five cards. I was only playing one vanilla Cyber Dragon, okay? And I was actually playing, so I can get my uh, Cyber Dragon toolbox out over here. I was actually playing this, and that solved one problem in the deck, which is drawing machine dupe with no targets. Because this this is so it's the it's the worst card in your deck if you draw this with no targets. Machine dupe can be the worst card in your deck. Do do not be mistaken. This is another discard outlet. Uh, Mike's gives you another normal summon. Mike's is also a level five machine. The, you know, that's what you want, right? Level 5 machines for Nova and whatnot, and just machine monsters in general, because it's a machine deck. Uh, but um, this this created another uh, Garnet in the deck, so you guys would be like, what? But um, here's the thing. If you draw, like, too many Cyber Dragons in Machine Dupe, or if you draw Machine Dupe and no targets, that's, that's really, really bad. Risking just drawing this I, was way more consistent. Uh, not only that, but you can draw these two and a Quick Draw Synchron and still be fine, because you, or a Tuning and still be fine, because you discard this off of uh, Quick Draw Synchron, Normal Summon this, spec the mics, and you still have a second Normal Summon. It's pretty good. It's, it's a really, really good little engine, and I want to make a whole other video or you know mention this uh, engine in another video because uh, it's, 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 it's nifty. We don't have Brilliant Fusion anymore, so this is the Brilliant Fusion we have at home, right? <laughs> That's the second normal summon we have at home. Um, and I was playing terraforming to be able to get uh, light stage to get Mandrake, so that adds some, con some consistency as well. Um, but here's the problem. So uh, mid combo, if you're mid combo and your opponent ashes or um, so if they ash or gamma your needle fiber, which you, it will, will make sense to you if you've seen my last video or you know if you pay attention to stick around for the combos in a minute. Um, if they uh, ash or gamma your needle fiber mid combo, uh, you're, you're done. You're absolutely done. Um, so I was playing Call by the Grave, you know, um, you know, you can play Ash Blossoms yourself. And that's another thing that I was doing as I was making these two slots, Call by the Grave and Terraforming, and these three slots, um, Ash Blossom, to be able to, uh, you know, counter hand traps and stuff because you can Ash a Gamma and just keep going because the, the Gamma will stay in their hand, and, you know what I mean? Uh, but uh, I just I just opted out of that. I opted out of that. Um, it just it added, I guess what I'm getting at is taking out the machine dupes, like, solves one problem of consistency and uh you know adds more problems to the deck so it's got to be machine dupe for now um i want a machine dupe searcher still just uh, this consistency and uh, selfishness or whatever <laughs> but i just wanted to uh, point out um other ways that you could build the deck um you can also add the uh, terra top engine in here um you know because there's winds in here so uh taka tamborgs you know not that bad to draw because a uh, quick draw synchron and stuff is a wind um you know in the uh symphonic warriors you know or winds but uh you know that's more cyber dragon toolbox stuff uh, for now i think that this is about as optimal as the deck gets uh going first or second um you can play uh, the artifacts to go first you know an artifact scythe and stuff like that i like my decks to be a little more 
combo-licious. Um, I like, and I, another thing is I like uh, main decking three just a hero. I like playing, uh, you know, Fortress Dragon. I like, uh, I don't know, I like, I like playing Auroradon. Um, I like making this as combo licious as I can. Another thing to note is that Gamma can't help you mid-combo either because you will have monsters on the field, so whether you're trying to defend your core or your Needle Fiber, it doesn't matter. Plus, a Driver gives you another, um, you know, Garnet in the deck. But, you know, the uh, side frames are light for Galaxy Soldier, so there is synergy there. But, uh, yeah, I don't like the side frames in this deck. I'd much rather play uh, Machine Duplication to be able to just get around anything because no matter what, like, if they stop the Needle Fiber like they should, if they're good, uh, then machine duplication is is where it's at. But yeah, that's the main flaw I wanted to point out in the deck is that if you get um, hand trapped mid combo, um, you're kind of stuck unless you have machine duplication or in, unless you have you know Ash Blossom or something like that to be able to stop the Gamma or Call by the Grave to stop Ash or you know what have you. But uh, what I found is that you know what solves both of those problems is uh, machine dupe. Just don't draw the Cyber Dragons. Uh, but you'll that'll make more sense to you when I show the combos ordered already. It makes sense to you because you've seen um, my uh, two card combo video. All right, so for the extra deck we have one Needle Fiber or Halka f -f 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 Fibrax, <laughs> one Aurora Dawn, one Al Mirage, and one Cleefort Genius. So um, these are the only four link monsters I play. Uh, Needle Fiber is what special summons your tuner from hand or deck. Uh, you know, Despot 01, uh, 99 times out of 100, like I was saying. And let's, uh, you know, sometimes you will get uh, the Satellite Synchron um, and still be able to, um, you know, make the full combo and draw a bunch off of a uh, Hyper Librarian. Um, but that's if you draw the Despot. That's, that, that, anyways, that's a whole other hand to explain. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's a couple possibilities behind that, but anyways, uh, then you have um, a Mecha Fantasy Beast Aurora Don. This is what spams your tokens. Um, you know, you use those tokens to pop your opponent's stuff, but you really use them with your tuners to be able to make your Karakiri monsters um, while having Hyper Librarian already on the field, and you keep synchro summoning and drawing a bunch of cards. That is the goal. And then uh, Almirage. Almirage might be uh, the most underrated card in the extra deck, <laughs> not just because of its you know protection effect, but uh, mainly and mainly because it is key to the two card combo because th that's what gets core in the graveyard after you search rev system to be able to use the rev system immediately to you know trigger satellite synchron. Um, Almirage is great. Uh, Cleefort Genius. Um, Man, this card almost gets cut a lot, but you can't cut it. Um, it's such a good link to. <laughs> it's like it's such a good link to, uh, two machines, and um, you can uh, machine dupe under and get a search for a quick draw synchron, which is great, or you know whatever. Um, just machine dupe under and get a search, and then uh, it's really good going second. You, you just. Clean Four Genius has to stay in the deck. Um, in order of importance, I would say this is the most important, second most important, third most important, but underrated, very underrated, because this makes you know the rest of these like more possible. So yeah, those are the those are the only four link monsters. Um, depending on the build of the deck, like if I'm playing you know Terratops for example and stuff, I'll put Skull Dread in the deck. But you know, basically like four to five link monsters seems to do it for me. Um, moving on though, uh, Cyber Dragon Nova, duh, and Infinity, duh. <laughs> uh, the best cards in the extra deck really. Uh, Nova, you know, you detach one. Um, um, special summon a cyber dragon from your graveyard. Um, a lot of the time that's core and stuff uh, in this goofy kind of synchro deck um, instead of cyber dragon, but um, you know, usually it's just regular old cyber dragon. But anyways, uh, Nova is also your OTK card. Um, and um, your Infinity Gateway. <laughs> like, Cyber Dragon Nova, I'm just gonna say it, guys. I'm just gonna say it. Cyber Dragon Nova is my favorite Xyz monster of all time. Like, it, 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 two level fives, it can OTK, it special summons from the graveyard, and gets you to Infinity. I, I don't know what else to say about it. It's like it's the perfect support card for Cyber Dragons. Then I play Dorindle because you actually end your full combo with Dorindle using um, Librarian as material. Uh, but I'll get to that, you know, in the combos once again. Um, Dorindle is also your unbreaking card. Um, so not only is this like an ending card, um, you know, and a disruption card for your opponent, but um, because uh, depending on which effect you activate, you can activate its effect to uh, negate a spell or trap, right? A normal spell or trap card during your opponent's turn. Um, or you can activate its effect to shuffle, have each player shuffle their, their entire hand back into the deck and then draw a new hand. So that's disruption for your opponent, or it's unbricking for yourself. So Dorindle kind of fills that gap for Skull Dread. You know, fills in the, it fills, it, I don't know, it's, it, it just, it fills a gap in the deck because it, it, it functions as your Skull Dread and it's, your negation card all in one card. Durindle is another one of my favorite Xyz monsters. Like the more, it just grows on me because it's so good. And then um, I put Pleiades back in the deck. This was, I'm not gonna lie guys, this was Mega Fleet. And you guys would be like, where's Mega Fleet? It's, I'm spoilers, it's in the side deck. <laughs> and I'll get to that in a minute. But um, I kept one in Pleiades, uh, not only to bounce, uh, you know, Light Stage back to hand and like have cute little core back to hand and have, you know, cute little gadget plays available, but I needed another outer. 
I kept needing another outer and with, and with machine dupe um, in this version of the deck versus you know another version of the deck that wasn't playing machine dupe um, I want Pallades in here more. While editing I noticed that I forgot to mention that you can use Pallades to bounce Jizakiru back to hand. That also comes in handy a lot. <laughs> it's a very very good move being able to jizz on your opponents not once but twice. It's very advantageous. This is a move that um, I came up with a long time ago, and I'm surprised that I forgot to mention it in the deck profile. Guys, it's just too good. This comes out, um, I don't know, it comes out more often than you'd think. Um, it's, it's just, oh, it's so good, and it's during either player's turn. Um, so that's it for the Xyz and for the Link Monsters. For the Synchros, TG Hyper Librarian and Martial Metal Marcher. These two are key to the combo, a <laughs> key to the combo. Like all these cards um, work in tandem to achieve like this mega, you know, plus combo that I'll show you off of just two cards. Hyper Librarian just lets you draw a bunch of cards, you know, with your Karakiris that's your special summoning and Marcher um, helps you build to that full combo. Then you have the uh, Karakiri package, the Bari, the Burrito, and the Bari Boo. <laughs> so um, you make this guy under Librarian, you summon the tuner from your deck, draw a card, sync for this guy, draw another card, uh, then you banish the tuner that you summoned off of this guy to make this guy from the graveyard draw another card Then you synchro summon for this guy and draw another card And you end with a banish during your opponent's turn with the uh, tuner in your graveyard to be able to activate this guy's effect It's pretty good stuff um, I actually like these guys going second too, especially this one because this one changes battle position and stuff with opponents monsters Which can come in handy um, But uh, I really I don't know Pleiades being back in the deck actually gave it an edge going second as well um, You would put more of an edge back into the deck going second even though that sounds crazy because it's cyber dragons um, I ended up making it kind of to go first heavy at first, you know, especially without machine duplication, but then it, it got better. It got better. This is the what I ended up with. Um, then uh, Chimera Tech Fortress Dragon, two of them. The reason why you have to have two of them is because I'm main decking three just a cure. Uh, you will want a second one and you will cry, 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 cry <laughs> if you don't have it. So um, I have to play two. Um, if you're siding Jizakiru or if you're just main decking one Jizakiru, you don't need one of this, okay? But if you're like me and you fear Winda because Winda is a strong bitch <laughs> and, you, and you're maining three Jizakiru, you know, or if you fear, I don't know, Dragoons or anything, you know what I mean? If you, if you fear powerful cards that you need to kaiju <laughs> and you're maining three Jizakiru <laughs> and you're playing Cyber Dragon, you have to play two fortress dragon um, and then once again I'm siding the one mega fleet uh, because I had one slot left in the side deck which we'll just go ahead and get to because um, you know I think I've explained this thoroughly enough um, and you guys are probably wanting to see the combos anyways so for the side deck um, I'm playing the kaiju package because I'm already, you know, main decking three Jizakiru. Uh, might as well side the Gammas and the, you know, the Game Seals and the Slumbers. <laughs> I will say that uh, you can play um, Kamungus, the spider, and uh, to be able to come and jizz on your opponents. <laughs> uh, if you want to be, you know, a, a dirty player, like a literal dirty player, you can uh, come and jizz all of your opponent if you wanted to. But uh, I, I like the game seals. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm less concerned with uh, being a dirty player. <laughs> These jokes are so bad. <laughs> My jokes are so bad. Anyways, uh, three, yeah, three slumber. I'll stop. Three slumber, three game of seals, um, and that play three Lancia. Um, uh, so this is pretty self-explanatory. This, uh, you know, uh, nukes the board, summons from deck. Um, it's, it, it, I'm already maining, maining three kaijus. Might as well. It just, it totally makes sense. And then um, Artifact Lancia is really good against just all kinds of different decks. And it's a level five light, so it has synergy in the deck. You know, being a level five for, you know, your rank five plays and being a light for Galaxy Soldier. So um, Artifact Lancia has been a card that has come in and out of, the, of my Cyber Dragon side decks for years and years and years now, depending on the format. It's a very, very good card in uh, Cyber Dragons. Uh, debatably, a better card in Cyber Dragons than a lot of it, you know, a lot of other decks. Actually, it's not even debatable, it's just fact, because level five, light. <laughs> Anyways, um, three, uh, Heavy Storm Duster and uh, Overflow. So I, um, actually side the overflow because it's not a consistency card it's just another outer you know what i mean it's like a and it's a good card to end with going first as well just to have this as an extra kicker this does give you a search though so it is a consistency card because it gives you a search or whatever but it's not at the same time um it, i just use it uh, against like i don't know i use these uh, you know these the spell and trap destructions along with feather duster against mine and you know different back row decks a paleo i don't know just all kinds of different stuff so right here is 14 cards i have my you know back destruction my uh, you know anything destruction really you know all my monster hate and then I have my banished hate you know my banished uh, disruption 
um, I was like, what do I do with one more slot? Well, it was, I was playing this because I could make it and it was just cute, you know, just I was citing that, but then I decided not to because I kept wanting Pleiades in the, you know, main extra deck, so I just put it back and I took the Mega Fleet out and put Mega Fleet in the side because Mega Fleet kept being dead. Um, let's just take Shadals for example. You don't care. They, they, they don't care. You, like This card's dead the whole game. Like, it's just freaking bad. Like, I mean, yeah, you can get their cross sheep or whatever. It's just, but it, it, this card's not very good. It's just, it's good against uh, Dragon Link. It's good against some other decks. It's good against uh, decks that end with a Link monster. You know what I mean? It's good against, um, you know, Appaloosa or something, obviously. Uh, because you can just hard spec, a, you know, uh, you know, natural spec a, a Cyber Dragon and then just, you know, freaking get rid of uh, Appaloosa, for example. Um, so, yeah, sided in against decks that make Appaloosa. I don't, I don't really know what to say. What I'm getting at is that, um, depending on your matchup, this card sucks. It needs to be cooked again, like I said in another video. Um, like, I would much rather um, have Fortress Dragon because it works with, um, you know, just Kiru. And you, uh, if you guys are wondering why I'm not doing one and one, it's because of what I already said earlier. You will cry. You will cry and bitch and moan for that second one if you draw two Jizz Kiru. If you draw two Jizz, you know what I mean? It doesn't even have to be in your opening hand. If you just draw that second one and you don't have the second Fortress Dragon, you cry, you're done, you know? So uh, this is this is uh, optimal for me. Uh, yeah, uh, Cyber Dragon's going first or second without artifacts, you are welcome. Now, let's get to the combos. Okay, so once again, for this combo, all you need is a core and a satellite synchron, all right? Or once again, a emergency or um, a tuning. It, it doesn't matter. So let's just ignore all the other possible cards in your hand and let's just say you only have these two cards. I'm gonna show you the full combo, okay? You, uh, these two cards in your hand, normal summon, Cyber Dragon Core. Activate Core's effect, you get a rev system. And then what you do is you send the core for Almirage. So you have Almirage on the field. Rev system, summon core back out. That triggers the satellite synchron, all right? Now, you use the Almirage and the Satellite Synchron to go into Needle Fiber. Now, this is the situation I was talking about earlier, guys. So right here, if your Needle Fiber gets ashed, your combo stopped, but this is where Machine Dupe comes in handy. So if you have a Machine Dupe in hand and they stop this, then you're still good. Summon two Cyber Dragons, keep rolling, right? You know, be able to end with an Infinity and stuff at least. Um, but moving on, let's just say they don't negate this. Deskbot 01, and then you use the Core and the Deskbot 01 for Marcher. Activate Marcher's effect, that'll get back out the Satellite Synchro. Then you use Marcher and Needle Fiber, and you go into Aurorodon. Aurorodon will spam your tokens, and that will trigger Despot 01 from the graveyard. So, once again, ignoring um, any other card in your hand, just starting with those two cards, you end, you, you end up like this, with just two cards, and, and you're not even done. So, you use um, Satellite Synchron and a token to make Librarian, and this is where the magic happens. You use all those, sorry, to make three. Activate this, so it would be chain link one, chain link two. And let's just shuffle up. Let's shuffle up, this was all you know clunked together because of the deck profile part of the video. Draw, right? And then you use these two. Make this, once again, summon, draw. Banish this, I drew two of the same card. <laughs> Banish this, um, switch this position, draw again. Make this, draw. So, you start with two cards, you end with seven cards, eight if you count um, this in the graveyard, because this uh, changes position of this, gives you a banish during your opponent's turn. It's pretty good, and once again, that's starting with two cards. That's ignoring all the other cards, the other three cards you already had in your hand, so I would have ended with seven cards. At this point, I would have seven cards in my hand. All right, so you can do that same combo with these three cards in any combination. That can be the light stage, that could be tuning, you know, that could be two tuning, uh, whatever. You just need these three cards. So let's start with these three, ignoring, once again, ignoring all the other cards in your hand, right? So what you do is you spec, pitching the Mandrake, and then that triggers Satellite Synchron, okay? And then you use these two, go in the fiber, activate fiber for Despot 01, and you do the same thing again. Use those, make Marcher, activate Marcher, make Satellite, the same song and dance. And that'll get Despot, use these, Librarian, 
level seven and summon the tuner and shuffle really quick. It doesn't really matter. This is just for demonstration purposes. Draw, that's a good draw. <laughs> summon, once again, you wanna do chain link two, chain link one. So you summon the tuner from your deck first. So you don't draw the tuners. Draw, and then banish this. Switch, draw. And draw. That's pretty good. <laughs> a lot better draws than the first demonstration. I mean, just look at that, look at that. And you haven't normal summoned yet. All right, so the shuffle up really good because I had all the cards, you know, clumped up and organized for the deck profile portion of the video. Let's ah, shuffle up a little more, man. I don't want to draw a bad hand here. Shuffle, shuffle, draw here. I saw the Kirikiri on the bottom and I now I know it's in the middle, so that'll guarantee. Oh, but I drew the other one. Oh, I should have said nothing. But this is actually still a really good hand. Plus I get to show off uh, what happens if you draw one of these. So let's uh, use that as the first uh, test hand. Um, so Cyber Emergency. Search for Cyber Dragon Core. Where you at? All right, so Cyber Dragon Core. Normal Summon Core. It's actually a perfect hand because we have the machine dupe and that can explain exactly what I was trying to explain, uh, you know, the, uh, the entire deck profile. So you get Rev System, right? So after you get Rev System, um, activate Tuning to get Satellite Synchron. Because once again, um, you know, it's key to the uh, two card combo, right? It's nice being able to see right there, right there was what, what, what I've been explaining the entire video. So both these cards are at three and I use my search cards to get, you know, they're also at three to get to my, to, uh, you know, the cards I needed for the combo. Mill one off the tuning, it's just a Kiru. You'd rather it be like a free Hertz, you know, but uh, it's whatever. Um, so now what you do is you send this for Al Mirage. Rev system. That triggers satellite synchron. Use these two. For needle fiber, activate fiber. Now, and this is where, if they stop fiber, whether with gamma or ash, you still have machine dupe. And that is why it has to be machine dupe. <laughs> this is perfect, it's perfect. Uh, even though I drew this, uh, I'm still getting a really good uh, test hand to show you guys. So use uh, Death Spider 1 and Cyber Dragon Core. Go into Marcher, activate Marcher. Get Satellite Synchron, use the Needle Fiber and the Marcher. Then I'll get Aurora on. That spams the tokens. The tokens coming out triggers Despot 01. Then you use Satellite Synchron and the token to make Librarian. Then you use, uh, and then, uh, yeah, right here, you could, this is where you would deck then or do whatever. And you guys are gonna be like, well, why didn't you do, uh, you know, Machine Dupe on Core already? Just trust me all right just trust me i wouldn't have had the room for all the aurora don tokens is the thing so uh moving on though making a Bree, um and then activate Bree's effect and that will get the kirikiri tuner from your deck shuffle up cut draw and then you use these two summon it doesn't really matter where um activate Actually, I can't activate. So um, what I'm gonna do, since it's not activating, because I have the other one in hand, I'm just gonna draw, whatever. And then um, I'm going to banish this one from the graveyard and draw again. Change the position, draw again. So now you do Galaxy Soldier, discard. Galaxy Soldier. Um, I would discard the uh, yeah, the carry, carry tuner and get a quick draw out. Then use these two to make Nova attach it would be core now so after you get core out go ahead and slap the infinity on yeah i guess the move would be just a machine dupe for one go into dirindle so that's how you end you still end with infinity dirindle so uh, what, you, what happens uh, when you draw one of the karakuri tuners long story short is you end exactly the same just with this on board instead of the Buri Boo on board. So you end with the burrito instead of the Buri Boo. So you don't get in a banish, you don't get in a banish uh, during your opponent's turn, uh, but you do get an extra draw um, if you have the you know quick draw synchron like I just did because uh, you know during my opponent's turn I just banish the uh, you know the tuner, switch it, and then you know draw another card. And that wasn't even a very good example hand, and it still kicked ass. So yeah, that shows off the deck pretty well, especially you know having machine duplication in hand. Um, you know, to be able to finish the combo with it or, um, you know, have a, um, a possible a backup extender for when you get disrupted mid combo, like, uh, you know, needle fiber getting uh, negated. So yeah, machine dupe really comes in handy. And uh, let's do, let's show off here. Let's do one of these. Let's rig a hand really quick. Yeah, let's say I draw like this, okay? 
And this isn't far-fetched at all because all of these cards are a three in the deck and two of, actually, yeah, then these cards all have search cards except for, yeah, these cards all have search cards for them except for that. <laughs> so, yeah, this this hand actually happens very, very, very often. Um, and that's kind of why I want to play it out because this is pretty much the base hand for the deck, everything being a three or this will be like a Mandrake or something like that. Just don't be surprised to draw, you know, all the three of us in the deck because there's so many of them and they all have search cards. That's part of the reason why I'm playing the deck this way is because it's that damn consistent unless you draw machine dupe without the damn targets or unless you draw machine dupe with the big cyber dragons the rest of the time the deck is broken <laughs> anyways oh, normal summon cyber dragon core uh get rev system uh send you know so same combo again right same combo again same old song and dance all right um satellite synchro these two so that leaves us in the same spot once again if they stop this they stop this, machine dupe, but let's pretend that they didn't. Let's pretend that they do not have an answer for it. Marcher, satellite synchron, these two, Roradon, tokens, despot, these two, librarian, these. And then right here, actually, if you wanted to, if you wanted to, you could quick draw Hertz and deck then, but I wouldn't because you have a target right now guaranteed. But then again, you've already used your normal summon, so I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. So right here, you could risk it, you could try to deck then, but if you draw a second Cyber Dragon after you deck then, you're gonna cry because your machine dupe's dead. So uh, right here, it's kind of just up, up to your discretion. You do always do this though. You go chain link two, chain link one. So you summon first and then you draw. That way you get the tuner out of the deck so you don't draw the damn tuner. <laughs> you don't want to draw it. Um, it's not the worst to draw because it has a graveyard effect. You can get rid of it with quick draw synchron like I'm explaining this whole video. But you still don't want to draw it. You know what I mean? Um, so cut. Draw. And then use these. Chain, you know, chain like two, chain like one again. Get the other tuner out of your deck. Draw. Ooh, sweet. Light stage. Activate light stage. Get Mandrake. Shuffle. Then you banish the Kirikiri. Draw. Sweet, just a Kiru. It's looking good. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep going this way. I'm just gonna keep going and see what I draw. It doesn't really matter because if I, I kind of want to see a Galaxy Soldier or a Repair Plant right now, uh, that would be uh, that would be optimal. Uh, let's see if I get one of those. Uh, summon and draw. Monster Reborn though, that's pretty good as well. Quick draw, get a search for Cyber Dragon. If you Monster Reborn, core out or Hertz, uh, I would do, it, it really doesn't matter. You can do uh, Hertz, just to activate Hertz's effect, but it does lock you into machines for the rest of the turn. Uh, I would do core and you can do it in defense position because uh, Monster Reborn doesn't matter. Um, machine dupe. Um, actually, if you could link summon again, this would be really optimal because you would just go into uh, genius right here with these two, I should say. And then, you know, that, that's why this locks you out of a uh, link summoning again, because that'd be way too good. So um, machine dupe on that, get the other cyber dragon. Use these two. Go into Nova, detach, and then spec. Infinity, these two, Durindle. So no matter what, you you end up the same board. Like no matter what, like I don't know. Like what I'm getting at is you draw so many cards off of that librarian Kirikiri combo, you always end like this. And in this case, I ended with a freaking Jizakiru in hands and stuff like that, and Cyber Dragon. Let's just say they wipe all this. This is all gone. Let's say this is all gone, right? All freaking gone. They wipe all this, and I have 100 life points left. Look at that. Look at that. Spec, spec, fortress, repair plant, cord, freaking go, and just go and go, a galaxy soldier or whatever. Yeah, galaxy soldier, because I haven't even used galaxy soldier yet, and just go and go and go, and that is how the deck works, guys. It doesn't end with the best end-all, be-all board, but it ends with so many dang resources. And right there, I didn't get the best draws either. Like, I didn't see galaxy soldier or repair plant, right? Which is why sometimes I'll want a second repair plant to have a higher chance of drawing it, but you don't really need it. And uh, most of the time when I want that second repair plant, uh, it's actually not even for uh, search for galaxy soldier, it's to be able to shuffle 
Cool Cyber Dragon back into the deck for, you know, in the late game, um, you know, for um, an extra machine uh, target. Another reason to play machine duplication, guys, is uh, let's just say you have a hand like this. Once again, all these cards are at three and are, are searchable except for that, um, you know, but this is at three. Um, but, uh, all these cards are searchable um, except for that one. So uh, your probability of getting this hand is pretty high, right? Um, what I'm saying here is that uh, do the three card combo and then when they stop this, uh, you know what I mean? You still haven't normal summoned yet. Normal summon core, search, and machine dupe. It's freaking good. <laughs> like, it's really good. I love it. I guess I'll show what that board looks like. So let's go uh, spec, spec, spec. Uh, this discards this and then that specs and then that triggers satellite synchron. And then you use the satellite synchron and the quick draw synchron to go into uh, needle fiber, okay? They nuke Needle Fiber. Let's say they do that. Normal summon. <laughs> get Repair Plants. Activate Machine Duplication. Machine Dupe will get the two Cyber Dragons from your deck. You haven't uh, made Almirage yet, so send Almirage. Now you have, you know, everything you need. You go into Nova. I wouldn't summon, I guess you could say, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, because you have Core in the Grave. Duh. <laughs> repair Plants. I don't know, repair plant for freaking Jizakiru or Galaxy Soldier or another core, you know, whatever you want, uh, end with an infinity. It's not the worst, man. That's what I'm getting at is that you'll end with like a, you know, a card in hand, whatever you, your preferable search is off of a repair plant, an infinity, an Al Mirage, and I don't know, freaking uh, Cyber Dragon to be able to Chimera attack them. Um, what I'm getting at is a machine duplication is in there um, to be able to keep playing. You have to be able to keep playing if they have stops for you. Um, uh, especially with the Cyber Synchro variant, uh, Cychron variant, or yeah, whatever you want, to, <laughs> whatever you want to call it, uh, Cyber Synchro, uh, the the No No Cybers, the No No Synchro. I don't know what you you want to call it. Shuffling, shuffling, cut it, drop it, draw it. All right, whoo, that's a whew, that's a good hand. All right, so activate emergency. Get hurts, normal summon. Let's get rev system. Amarash, rev, spec, spec. Needle fiber, spec. And it's nice getting Jizakiro in hand too. You're never uh, upset to see it, especially because like if you go first, uh, going first or second, like like having this as a backup going first or like, you know, opening it and going second, obviously it's always good. Satellite Synchro, pow, pow, pow. Triggers that. Use these. Shuffle, shuffle, shuffle. Draw. Oh, another just gear. Um, let's go ahead and deck them. They'll get searched for Cyber Dragon. And then also, you will use those. Chain like two, chain like one. You do not want to draw that tuner. You want it out of the deck and you want to draw good stuff like Galaxy Soldier or something. Cyber Repair Plant, whatever. Galaxy Soldier. <laughs> I am Cyber Dragon Daddy. <laughs> All right, and then you go, uh, banish, draw again. All three just secure. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is perfect. All right, then uh, oh, shuffle. I mean, the summon draw. I can't even talk right now. I think I've yeah, I've activated emergency this turn. Uh, that's so sick though. And then you go uh, Galaxy Soldier, pitch Cyber Dragon, search the other Galaxy Soldier, use these two, summon Nova. So detach, slap infinity on, and then uh, use these two for Durindal. And, uh, or technically, since we have another, gal since we have a light and a galaxy soldier in hand, you can uh, pitch uh, one of the jizzes. And then like that, that way if they're playing a synchro deck, uh, you're gonna draw every time they synchro summon because if you read Hyper Librarian, it says if a monster is synchro summoned, draw one card. It doesn't say if you synchro summon a monster, it says if a monster is synchro summoned, draw a card. So yeah, then that's how that's how the board ends, guys. Um, is this, um, you know, the end all be all, um, you know, unbreakable board dot deck? No, but it does build this board. A pretty good board. It builds it very, very consistently, and that is um, what I'm going for here. If I wanted to play, um, I go first, I win the deck, I would be playing Herald. Period. And I also play that deck sometimes too, because it's freaking fun to deck build on that deck. All right, let's do another one. What we got? What do we got? Woo! That's a good hand. Uh, double quick draw, but it's still fine. 
You want to see, you want this to be a machine dupe, dude. Like, <laughs> that's like the ideal hand. You want it to be like the backup machine dupe, like I've been explaining like the whole video. Uh, search rev system, we'll two card combo this. No one. Uh, yeah, same old song and dance. Like, you guys are probably tired of seeing this combo. Like, I, I get it. <laughs> Very interactive. Like, you go all over the place with it. You know what I mean? You're just like, extra deck, graveyard. Like, you're just, you're going. You're going off. You know what I mean? I will say, if they stop Needle Fiber right there, you're pretty much screwed. Although, no, you're not. No, you're not, because I do two quick draw. Because, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will say, let's just say they stopped that Needle Fiber. Um, I would have been able to quick draw, get a hurt, uh, get a Cyber Dragon off of Hurts, and then quick draw again, and then have a Cyber Dragon in the grave, and then use the two, the two quick draws to make a Nova and uh, spec a Cyber Dragon. So um, I actually still wouldn't have bricked completely if they would have stopped Needle Fiber right there, despite um, not having uh, machine duplication. So uh, I just wanted to point that out really quick. Marcher, activate Marcher. Get Satellite Synchron, Marcher, Needle Fiber, Roradon, Deskbot, these two, Librarian, same combo every time, or a slight variation of it depending on how you draw, like I've been explaining. I will say really quick that you have the option to uh, deck thin uh, because you uh, discard, uh, you know, the Hurts, like this is what I was explaining a second ago. Um, you can uh, deck thin and get a search for a, a Cyber Dragon really quick before you, uh, you, before you draw for the uh, Librarian right now. Summon. Draw. I mean, it's, I, I'm just gonna keep it. I mean, this is where I, maybe maybe I should have decked in, but it don't matter. I'm just gonna play like I didn't deck thin at all. I'm just gonna see what I draw. Interesting. Maybe I should deck thin. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, uh, you know, I think that's that's smart at this point. I think that's smart at this point. So let's uh, do this, and we'll get a cyber dragon, and then we'll. Uh, yeah, we'll get a, a satellite synchron really quick and mill one. Why not? Because uh, I'm, I haven't been drawing Galaxy Soldier. I'm not drawing Galaxy Soldier right now. <laughs> uh, all right, mill one. Okay, okay. And then uh, now let's synchro summon again. And then draw one. <laughs> all right. So uh, with this draw, discard. I mean, you get it either way. You just go more plus with uh, Galaxy Soldier, obviously, because Galaxy Soldier searches another copy of itself. So, no matter what, though, you end with the same board. You, you end with the same board unless you draw one of the Karakiri tuners, or both of them, or whatever. So, unless you draw bad, you end with a lot of extra cards and a pretty decent board. Let's do one more test hand just for the road. Why not? Why not? Probably gonna break. Ah! Ah! No, it's pretty good. I'll play this one out. I'll play this one out. So, um, what you're going to do is, uh, no, I already got, yeah, normal summon. So, what you want to do here is get the uh, repair plant out of the deck so you don't know it off of tuning. Um, that's actually good that I'm doing one more test hand because that um, lets me note that really quick. And then you activate the tuning to get the satellite synchron and then mill. Not only does that deck then, but it makes sure you want to search rev system first before milling or repair plant first before milling because you might, you know, mill those out of the deck. And that sucks. Like milling a galaxy soldier. <laughs> I'm so glad I recorded this. <laughs> no, like, like right as I said it, like milling really, galaxy soldier. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> I have powers, man. I have powers. All right. So we have a system. Uh, same song and dance, guys. Same song and dance. I mean, I've done this several times now. I think I think you guys are over the combo probably by now. You're like, I, I get it. The combos. It's, it's clever, it's clever. You, you came up with the, cool, the two card combo, that's pretty cool. But man, it's like, it's, it's my combo. I, I like it. Oh, Kiri Kiri, draw. And I know I'm not summoning from deck, summoning from deck because the other one's in my hand. Draw, deck thin, deck thin, banish, draw. Did I activate emergency? I did not. Did not activate emergency. So I can activate emergency and have a core in hand for next turn. Galaxy Soldier. And technically I would have summoned this in defense so that it ended up in attack. Um, unless you um, used, instead of Galaxy Soldier, you used uh, Quick Draw to pitch this, for example. You know what I mean? And in which case, you, you get it. Detach. And that's it. Uh, only two negates on that one, but you know, or a disruption, because you can, you know, shuffle back, whatever. So I guess in closing, if you pay attention, I've been playing all of these hands with five cards, acting like I'm going first. Not second, like Cyber Dragons usually do. 
pretty good stuff. Uh, Cyber Dragons really uh, sometimes need that sixth card, even with this deck. And uh, sometimes you do need that sixth card, even with this deck. Sometimes, um, and a lot of the time, I still will opt to go second because the deck is still better going second. It really is, especially main decking three Jizakiru and stuff. The deck is better going second. I just hate going against clever players when you're playing against Cyber Dragons back in the day, playing, you know, Power Bond OTK or, you know, just the different variations over the years. And then, you know, uh, clever and good players will be like, uh, you know, game two, they'll say, you go first. And uh, it, that was especially rough in the days before Cyber Dragon and Infinity. <laughs> you know, uh, but the, these days it's not as rough. Um, but it is still rough because you have to play these big vanilla Cyber Dragons that you don't necessarily want to draw, but are great going second because you can just drop them on your opponent and be able to Chimera Tech them. So, uh, yeah, the the deck, um, it, is, is it fixed? No, 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 no. But I think it's better than, it, it, it's better, more consistent, more combo-licious and everything than the, uh, you know, artifact variants of this deck. They're so boring. Like, if I'm going to play anti-meta, I'm going to play anti-meta, you know what I mean? If I'm, I don't know, if I'm playing artifacts, I'm going to play anti-meta, I'm going to play some counter fairy artifact shenanigans or something like that some anti-meta i don't want to play them in my cyber dragons i want cyber dragons to be cyber dragons you know what i mean light stage guys is really underrated in cyber dragons i just have to say this in its own part of the video um the effect to be able to block out your opponent's back row insanely good that's why it's another reason why terraforming keeps coming back into the deck um where's my terraforming um, it's, it's so you can get this. I mean, like playing one terraforming from one target can suck. Obviously, if you do, uh, if if you are unlucky and draw both of them. Um, however, uh, it's worth the effect to be able to block out an opponent's back row. That Zing Zang Hu effect um, is. It's so good it's worth playing the terraforming for not to mention uh, the consistency of having this card in the deck being able to get um, Mandrake uh, You know to be your level two substitute if you don't get core for example uh, It's it's invaluable um, Light stage Light stage to three, but only if you're playing cyber dragons In cool decks not trick stars <laughs> I just wanted to say that. <laughs> and then as far as siding goes, guys, uh, Light Stage will come out. Um, depending on the matchup, uh, you know, back row decks, it stays in. Um, you know, st <laughs> it stays on during sex. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> if you guys know that meme. <laughs> the dual disc stays on during sex. But, um... I don't know, like I'll side out like a quick draw, I'll side out like a machine dupe. Um, mainly the one ofs though. Like the one ofs, the monster reborn, the stuff that you have to hard draw that's not searchable. Rev system stays in, uh, but you know, monster reborn, that's you know, one for one. The extra cards, uh, you know, those will come out to make room for, you know, wh whatever else. Um, sometimes I'll take out a Hertz, just because, I mean, like, a, a, not a Hertz, sorry, a vanilla Cyber Dragon, just because um, you can get um, vanilla Cyber Dragon with Hertz, is what I was going to say. And it decreases your chance of drawing. Um, you know, uh, your machine dupe target and stuff like that. Plus, if you're taking out one of your machine dupes to make room, you can cut one of this because it makes sense. Or you can cut the machine dupes and just have one vanilla cyber dragon if you, uh, since they're not playing any hand traps at all. Um, there's there's a lot of ways to go, guys. There's a lot of ways to go. But really, you just kind of side out the extra stuff um, and make and, and make room. That That's it. And, and it just, uh, it depends on your matchup. Like, I, I don't really know how else to explain it. Um, I will say, um, you know, for the extra deck, making extra deck room for Mega Fleet, it's pretty simple um all you do is you cut out freaking genius like <laughs> like that's what i do you can cut out genius or palladies the, 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 that's it um you want the you want the fortress dragons unless you find yourself of course citing out jizakiru and stuff like that in which case um you can cut um you know your fortress dragons uh, one of your fortress dragons at least and uh you know make room for mega fleet it just it, it depends on what you're going against um but i will say uh genius or palladies palladies probably is what needs it's palladies because that's what this slot was before Pl Pleiades, but Pleiades is such a damn good card. You get so many cool gadget plays with it. Um, everything from uh, bouncing your own um, life stage back, your own core back, um, being able to bounce um, your own extra deck monsters back to the extra deck. So that's another thing, guys. If uh, they, if you have like a dead, like let's, let's just say you have an ashed um, needle fiber on the board, you can, um, you know, if you can rank five. You can play these this back to the extra deck to be able to make it again later in the duel, and then play these, of course, still gives you a bounce during your opponent's turn. That is really, really good. Um, so play these guys. It's mm, it's it's too gadgety. It's too gadgety. It's got to be in there. Same thing with genius. I feel like genius can be pretty gadgety sometimes as well. Uh, you know, just being a generic like two uh, for two machines, and um, you know, being able to machine dupe underneath it, being able to go second. It's very, very good. Um, this card can be uh, gadgety as well because uh, once again, uh, like I said earlier in the video, it changes uh, battle positions of uh, a monster. One monster on the field changes battle position. So. 
It's pretty good stuff. Um, yeah. I think I explained the deck pretty well. I mean, depending on the format and the matchup, you can play Nibiru's in it, you know. If you don't like, I don't know, if you find yourself going against more combo decks, you can play Nibiru in it, and Nibiru is a light for Galaxy Soldiers, so Nibiru has, you know, synergy in the deck. But I'd say that's the deck, guys. Uh, I really love it. This is one of my favorite decks I've ever made. That's one of my favorite combos I've ever made because it's so all over the place, and it's so consistent. Oh, my gosh. This deck is mega, mega consistent, guys. It is, mm, as long as you don't draw, once again, and that's, that's the problem I was uh, addressing earlier in the deck profile, um, you know, trying to fix. As long as you don't draw, you know, machine dupes with no targets or machine dupes with the targets, you're good. Or machine dupes with no targets and, I don't know, like, you know, your tuners. And as long as, in TLDR, if you don't have the worst luck in the world, this deck is awesome. It's Cyber Dragons that can go first or second. You're welcome. Cyber Dragon Dad, Yugi Jesus, back at it again. Dick slap that like button and subscribe! Subscribe! <laughs> <laughs>